Okay, so what we have here? Maybe um, not that. Yeah, let's go with that. When I play Boo Blue, I can hold mana and play on your turn. Each phase requires confirmation. Yeah, that's so annoying. <laughs> MTG's late is a decade late to the party. Well, it does have a a level of complexity, but Long live the king. And it could have been like amazing if it got its act together sooner, but I think at this point it's just it is just an option. Why have you summoned me? Hearthstone has really revolutionized the mana system. Yeah, they did a really good job. I didn't really appreciate how uh, refined Hearthstone was at a time. Like, Hearthstone was basically, well... It's not exactly, well... What well, was basically the first CCG I, I really played? Well, I can definitely say it was it was the first CCG I really played. I don't even know if I played something before then. Maybe some browser games, whatever. Point is, it was really well done. And uh and it's and still like uh this is priceless. Really well done to this day. I don't really play the ranked modes in Hearthstone anymore, but I do uh, play Arena from time to time, and it's a pretty enjoyable experience. It just gives you a very different experience, and I'm not really bo uh, bothered by the uh, variance in it. Ranked mode is more about just abusing the most OP stuff ever and just playing it non-stop, so that could get boring. Not not so much at lower ranks, but I suppose if you're pushing for higher ranks, uh, that could be the experience you, you're gonna get. Not sure what to go for. I can steal Stannis. I think there's a chance that he wants to resurrect him. And he will assume that I didn't play Malena here. Because and there's nothing else to lock. What the hell would I play Malena into a free free point dude? It doesn't make sense to have confirmation at each phase, because you're giving information about your card, but I don't know how else to do it. Actually, yeah, automatically, or by default, it's you skip uh, the confirmation phase, if you have no eligible uh, cards or action to take uh, that phase. But that, that also gives away information, so um, realistically you should turn it off, but you probably don't want to. Oh come on, you made a clip of me hating on MTG's uh, confirmation system. Oh, and the thing is, I, I did play Eternal, and it didn't bug me that much. And for some reason, just magic feels. I would like, I would love to get some uh, feedback on that one. That those of you who played Eternal and Magic, I liked Eternal better. I felt like Eternal me. had one big problem that massively uh, pissed me off. I think it had two problems that massively pissed me off. Uh, and I'm gonna go into both of them. The first one is the mana system. You rely on, on drawing mana. And if you don't draw mana or draw too much mana, you lose the game. And that happens a lot. That 
very much affects the efficiency of your plays. And second, uh, th that game just has a lot, a lot of removal and efficient removal. So, like, you can't even play something for four mana. It, many times, playing something for three mana is not not is just a completely stupid thing to do. Because uh, most removals can just completely get rid of it for one or two mana, or just completely destroy it for three mana, and uh, your opponent can just destroy the whole board as well for like five mana, I believe. And in that game, uh, it, it works differently if you attack. And let's just say you attack with a free power, four health dude. Or no, no, you attack with a free power, three health dude. And your opponent has a free power, full health, four health dude. Then you can never attack. Because if you attack, your Samaria dude gets killed by the free power, four lost. strength dude. Free, free power, four health dude. And that dude heals up. Your opponent decides who attacks who instead of you. And they also heal up automatically. So that means most of the time, especially in a uh, arena mode, it's just a whole lot of just sitting around and uh, waiting for something to happen. Waiting for some very special card to uh, actually get the action going. Well, that's a pretty decent time to play my Exploding Trap. But I would like to hear some opinions uh, on Eternal or Magic, and I might be wrong about it. But the thing is, I actually got to top 100 in Eternal. It was pretty easy. All you had to do is just build a stupid aggro deck, and, and like, 10 out of 9 dudes got completely owned by the mana uh, problem they had. And uh, if they didn't have a, a fast deck... Uh, then they just had no chance. One, once you get to the top ranks, uh, you actually went against dudes who who were packing quite a bit of removal and actually had a chance against you. And uh, most of them are just just spamming removal and uh, and probably have some ca some kind of a, a magic immune or like uh, kind of like we can call it magic immune. It's, it's immune to one effect, uh, dude, that serves as a finisher. Often flying, uh, just to get over the stupid board that uh, usually doesn't move anywhere. Uh, the biggest issue I have with Magic Arena is that it's too expensive as a game. It's fun, deep, and art is good, but it's too expensive. I only have one deck. Uh... We've left in isolation for two bloody And it's long. certainly a problem. And and Gwent really did a great job. I think that's just just we just have to go back and appreciate how uh, customer friendly Gwent is. I think it it I probably have to say like I, I just have to say that it is the main reason. It is one of the main reasons that up to this day it is my favorite a uh, CCG because you actually can play the game and this is the only way to say it many other games like for example free to play games game. most of all just just don't allow you to play the game you almost have like a demo where you have actually have access to like only portion of the content and the others have access to it all and if the meta changes in a way it's unavoidable that uh, that limited access is gonna give you a, a harder time to actually come up with a competent deck actually early on like even early on not like you are, go up against decks that are like easy but like when I played Magic Arena I ended up fighting against dudes who kept spamming uh, what the hell they are? I don't know. Gather move on, lads. Look alive. 
It, it was an aggro deck. It was a blue. It was a blue aggro deck, I believe. Blue green. Blue green aggro deck. It was a blue green tribal aggro deck, but I'm not sure what they had. Some kind of sirens? I don't know. Does anyone know what the hell I'm talking about? You're playing Hearthstone right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, Merfolk. Yeah, 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 that's that's the one. So you guys are familiar with that? For some reason, I was running into like a lot, into that deck a lot, like like one out of two decks was Merfolk. My studies are more important. It's quite popular. This for the enemies. So it's gonna hit him. Turn end. Turn end. Pass. Well, that was a good pass. GG. Alright, let's just kick some dwarfs. I know that sounds uh, a bit bit like a jerkish thing to do but yeah that's that's fine what happens happens and for that I game there are still a lot of people who are in the scene the hardcore hardcore like us who adore the game actually Gwent is doing I don't I don't know I, I can't perhaps I can't make that statement but to me it seems like Gwent is doing great for a game that just flat out said that we're not going to have content for like 8 months. For for that kind of oh game, Gwent is doing head. great. And I, I go to the forum, it's not about like crying the end of the world, but Oh, what? Alias we attack. Karak. Oh. My rider dude just got stolen. Alias V is raiding me with a 61 uh Person raid group. Hey guys from Alias We <laughs> uh, stream. Not exactly sure what we are up against, but we are playing shoot because it's fun as hell. Special prize. How's it going? Ah, uh, it's going fine. Thanks. Interesting. Seems like I need to play the half of hunters here. Hey. All right, that's fine. Hey guys, have fun. Gotta go buy cat food. It's fucking 9 p.m. <laughs> Where are you from? 3 p.m. here. <laughs> 3 a.m. I was just thinking, damn, it must be quite the emergency. Ah, oh, Toronto. Alright, I'm gonna keep you. See ya. Canada, se Canada seems like a nice place. Not afraid. You of course, I wouldn't be uh, so brave to go uh, up north. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go there. But who knows? It seems like a good place. If it's 9 p.m. and my cat doesn't have food, then I'll know about it. <laughs> Make me mod so I can promote the people who raid your channel. So alias. What does that come and do? Sure. Now we will see who is weak. I need to raid alias as well, but it's it's not it's easier said than done because 
it's gonna be a very special case where I'm stuff streaming, but also she's streaming. Devil Shice. Devil Shice. Okay. I do. Actually, I would like to play it. Yeah, we might just play Ida. I don't know. No, no, no. Let's just play... Malena. For now. We're gonna play Yevon. Hey. I think it's Shoop versus Shoop. I'm pretty sure about it. We were not the ones to start this war. Uh, SO puts the link to the specified streamer's channel. Tiny advertisement. Oh. Oh, are we gonna go Barclay? Well, that's only a nine pointer. Nothing like a dwarf to get you into a tight spot. I don't wanna play Ida for two reasons. Well, at least for at least to deny. Okay, let's, let's go with that. At least to deny a spell from a possible glaze he has. However, he played the muzzle. So, maybe he doesn't have a glaze. I never miss. Didn't he mess up with that? Oh! He's preparing for the counter scorch. Look at this. He... He expects me to scorch. So he's preparing a counter scorch of 30 points. What a bastard. I like it. Wait, how many elves I got on the board? Three elves. I would like to get out the Ran. I can't. Limit the number of elves he has. He has four elves. I don't know if he has Ali Ran. They can hide, but there is no escape. Ah, let's go with that. Any last words? No. Oh. He does use Igni as well? I did not expect that. Now we're in trouble. So... Well, I can still get out Eliran, but it's gonna be tricky. Riot! So that's the fourth... Elf on the board. This is gonna be the fifth. And that might just take it. That's gonna be a... 19 point play. I don't think it's gonna take it. But I guess we gotta play it anyway. What do you want? That's a f okay. Never mind that. We got Ali Ram. <clears throat> we'll pay men back for their persecution. Elven Blarney. Perfect. Now I'm feeling greedy. We might just play this dwarf as well. Because it's not gonna be that useful for us later. Oi, hi there, come here. Oh, that's a good one for him. So can I force him to play something more impactful? 
If I play Iglesias now, it's, he's gonna play. He's gonna play 27 points of value, which is not that bad. You can probably do it with a silver and a bronze. Hmm. You might just force that shoop. But it could be just a terrible idea. No, no, no. You'll be fine. We're gonna do it. I, don't, I think it's the right move. Better use Shoop than whatever he buffed up. And he had to. But he didn't have the option to play the resilient Shoop. Or did he? No, no he, he did. He did. He did it. Because he won by 15 points. That's decent. Okay. But he has to go first. You Don't want to play carrier? That's actually pretty damn good. We hunt. That's a little inefficient. All right, let's laser first. No, actually, I may have messed up. No, no, no. He already played all the golds. Okay, fine. Why have you summoned me? Okay. It doesn't matter, he's he's super dead. I just delete everything. Only shoot wins. That's how it should be. GG. Black Siren. Who's a dwarf.